Hi friends and families. My name is Jennifer Coleman and I am a math coach in Henrico County Public Schools. I am here today to discuss with you counting and comparing sets of objects. The objective for today is to be able to count and compare sets of objects up to 10 using the terms greater than, the same as, and less than. When I am comparing objects, I first know that I need to count the amount that I am comparing in each group or set. Um, sometimes when I look at different amounts of objects, I don't actually have to count. Sometimes I just know what um, the amount is because it reminds me of dice or dominoes or a 10 frame that I've worked with when I was in school or when I was playing a game. Um, so today I went and looked in my workshop and I found a whole bunch of different screws. And what I thought we could do is I've put them on a 10 frame. I really find that in order for me to compare objects, I need to have things organized. It helps my brain to be more efficient, to be faster, um, to be able to look at things and determine how many there are. So I put these screws on different 10 frames. So what I need your help with is we need to count and determine how many screws are on each of the 10 frames. Then we're going to write that number or match the number with that amount. And we're gonna determine or figure out which one has more, which one is greater than, which one is less than, or are they the same as each other? So are you ready? Okay, well, let's start with the first set of objects that we have. Okay, so the first set of objects that we have are these two. So what you see here is that I have a 10 frame and in the 10 frame I have one two, three, four, five, six. Something that I've learned in school is that when the top row of a 10 frame is filled up, that I know that there's five and one more is six. So I'm gonna match my number six with that. If I come and look at my next 10 frame, I see that there's one, two, three, four, four. Well, if it was full, it would be five. And one less than five is four. So if we look at this, we've got six and we've got four. I notice that I have one, two, three, four here, but I have two extras. And I notice I have one, two, three, four here, but I'm missing two if I wanted it to be the same as this. So if this has two extras, I'm gonna say that six is greater than four. So this is what I'm gonna say. Six is greater than four. Make sense? Let's try another one, okay? Coming over here, now I've got this. One, two, three. Oh, I see three. Okay, here's the number three. Interesting, if this was filled up, the top row was filled up, it would be five. Five minus two, or two less than five is three. Now let's look at this guy. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three and three is six. So here's my 
six. Okay, so now I have three and I have six. Interesting. I see I have one, two, three here, and I have one, two, three here, but I have three extras over here. I have three less over here. That must mean that three is less than six. Three is less than six. Okay, let's try one more. So what I see here, all right, oh, interesting, interesting. I see one, two, three, four, five. That top row is filled in. So there's five there. So there's my number five. But look at this one. The bottom row is filled in. One, two, three, four, five. Five. So this one has the top row filled in and this one has the bottom row filled in, but they both have five filled in. So five is the same as five. So if we look at all of our statements, we see that six is greater than four, three is less than six, and that five is the same as five. So if you use a 10 frame, it can be a very helpful tool when trying to compare amounts up to 10. So I hope this was helpful and I hope that you go and you get some objects with your family and count them and compare them and look at which one has a greater amount, which one has a less amount, and maybe sometimes some of them will have the same amount. I hope this helped. Bye!